Suspected killer and arsonist Michael Burham is behind bars tonight after leading police on a nine day manhunt in Warren County. Our team coverage on the story continues. Ethan Kibbe has covered this story since the start of the search for the prison escapee. Ethan joins us now from a relieved Warren County. Ethan, good evening. Eva, good evening. Everyone here over about the past 48 hours has let out one large sigh of relief. People much calmer today. It's business as usual on a Monday evening in Warren once again. Hasn't felt this way for a while, not since the escape of Michael Burham, who was on the run for nine days before he was captured Saturday night in the backyard of a residence not too far from here. A couple heard their dog barking, couldn't figure out why the dog wouldn't stop, went out, spotted Burham, called police. And Burham was brought to justice. He's now in the Erie County prison being held up there. He will eventually be brought back here where he'll, where he'll have to be arraigned. But it was a stressful weekend, two days in Warren from late Thursday night a week ago all the way through this Saturday with more than 200 law enforcement officials out searching for Burham, trying desperately to find him, making sure that he would be caught before someone would get hurt. This is someone who's been accused of kidnapping people and making them drive them on a getaway. That didn't happen this time. Found right in the backyard, so to speak, here in Warren. There's a chopper over our head right now. Perhaps you can hear it. One big difference this time around. It is not a search uh, helicopter. No one being searched for. Instead, it's a medical helicopter. So I promise the search is not back on here. We talked with some local leaders who say they are thrilled that it's business as usual once again in this area. People in town were driving by honking horns, yelling thank you, you know, from the four lane up here. It was just a jubilous feeling that it finally happened. You know, Facebook was blowing up. My friends were texting me, you got it, you got it. Well, I, I didn't, but you know what I'm saying, you know, that we were able to finally bring him in. So, yeah, there was a lot of, a lot of comfort in that. 